This is the anterior or ventral aspect of the scapula, and here is dorsal aspect of the scapula. You see the dorsal aspect. The dorsal aspect of scapula. The scapula has two parts. We will discuss in two parts. It has body and it has processes. It has two parts: body and processes. This triangular part, यहाँ से यहाँ तक, this part is body. And here you can see this is process. This is process. This is process. If you discuss about detail of the body, <coughs> you can see here this shape of the body and size of the body. It is large in size and its shape is triangular. A triangular shape. A triangular shape. This is body. बॉडी ट्रेंगुलर से बॉडी हैज टू सर्फेसेस इट हैज टू सर्फेसेस टू सर्फेसेस वन इज कॉस्टल सर्फेस दिस इज एंटीरियर सर्फेस इन दिस डायग्राम यू कैन सी दिस एंटीरियर सर्फेस एंड दिस इज डॉर्सल सर्फेस सो इट हैज एंटीरियर सर्फेस एंड Posterior surface or anterior surface and posterior or ventral surface, which is known as costal surface or dorsal surface. So it has two surfaces and it has three borders. Process in body or anything. It has three borders. देखते हैं कौन कौन से बॉर्डर हैं। इट हैज थ्री बॉर्डर दिस बॉर्डर इज सुपीरियर बॉर्डर एंड फ्रॉम हियर टू हियर दिस मीडियर बॉर्डर एंड दिस इज लैटरल बॉर्डर इट हैज थ्री बॉर्डर सुपीरियर बॉर्डर मीडियर बॉर्डर एंड लेफ्ट दिस इज लेफ्ट बॉर्डर एंड इट हैज थ्री एंगल्स तीन एंगल है दिस एंगल इज सुपीरियर एंगल दिस इज इंफीरियर एंगल एंड दिस इज लेफ्टर एंगल सुपीरियर एंगल इंफीरियर एंगल एंड लेफ्टर एंगल सो दिस इज द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ द बॉडी एंड यू विल डिस्कस वन बाय वन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू डिस्कस अबाउट दिस एंटीरियर सर्फेस ऑफ द कॉस्टल सर्फेस दिस इज एंटीरियर सर्फेस ऑफ कॉस्टल सर्फेस It is concave and directed forward, and its concavity it contains here. You can see this is subscapular muscle. The subscapular muscle is attached on this costal surface, and this costal surface is also known as. This is why we call it costal. Sub scapular fossa. This this surface is also known as sub scapular fossa. Here sub scapular muscle is attached. This is costal surface. Along the medial border on the costal surface, from superior angle to inferior angle here, the muscle is attached, which is known as serratus anterior. This muscle is serratus anterior. Anterior. This muscle is serratus anterior. This is subscapular. So this is about all about the costal surface. Now dorsal surface. This is dorsal surface. 
dorsal surface is divided into two parts by spine like process. This spine like process is known as spinous process. It's the name here spinous process. This process divides the dorsal surface into two parts. Upper part is supraspinatus fossa and lower part is infraspinatus fossa. This part is supraspinatus fossa and this is infraspinatus. And here is a gap, here is a notch between the spinous process and glenoid cavity. This is spinoglenoid notch. Through this notch, this supraspinous fossa, fossa communicate with the infraspinous fossa. This is under se two structures pass hote hain, jo supraspinous fossa se yahan aate hain infra mein. That is supras, supra. Scapular nerve and suprascapular artery. This is artery and here is nerve. Two structure suprascapular fossa se <coughs> This this gap uh, this is uh, known as spinoglenoid notch. Okay. Now structure attached with the supraspinous fossa in medial two third part. Here. Supraspinous muscle is attached. Here is supraspinous muscle attached here. And here is infraspinous fossa in its medial two third part. Infraspinous muscle is attached. Infraspinous muscle is attached. Now, after this, uh, now we'll discuss about the borders. There are three borders, superior border, it is the surface border and in the latter part of superior border there is a notch between this and the root of coracoid fossil, this is coracoid fossil. This notch is known as suprascapular notch. This notch is bridged by suprascapular ligament. Here is suprascapular ligament and the structure which passes above this ligament that is suprascapular artery below the, this ligament that is suprascapular nerve suprascapular artery and suprascapular nerve it initially goes into it initially goes into suprascapular fossa and then into infraspinatus fossa. You can see infraspinatus fossa. This is suprascapular artery and this is suprascapular nerve. So this is superior border. Now medial border from superior angle to inferior angle. This medial border on costal surface it gives origin to it, it gives insertion to serratus anterior muscle and dorsal aspect, it gives insertion to, from here to here, it gives insertion to levator scapulae at the level of root of the spine. Here, rhomboides minor is attached, and here, rhomboides major is attached on the dorsal aspect. This is medial border. Now, lateral border, this lateral border is thickest border. Medial border is longest border. And superior border is shortest border. Lateral border is thickest border. Subset thick ho hai. Yaha, yaha, thickest border. And in this border, there is, here is superiorly, there is infraglenoid tubercle. This infraglenoid tubercle gives attachment to the Long of triceps, and from here to here, there is attachment of teres minor, and from here to here, there is attachment of teres major. Teres minor between 
टेरिस माइनर ले लीजिए आर्टरी दिस इज सरकम टेक्स स्कैपुलर आर्टरी इट पासेस इनटू द इंट्रा स्पाइंट इनटू सब स्कैपुलर कोसा सो ये इस इन दिस डायग्राम ये लीजिए इंट्रा लेयर टू बर्क एंड ये लीजिए अटैचमेंट ऑफ टेरिस minor here it has been to this picture and here is this is the part so these are three borders and lateral border is thickest and lateral border is superiorly truncated it forms greenoid cavity this greenoid cavity articulate with the head of humerus so these are three borders now Three angles. This is superior angle. Here is inferior angle. This superior angle lies at level of second rib, or the spinous passage of second thoracic vertebra. It lies at level of second rib. It inferior angle lies at level of seventh rib. And this lateral angle is truncated, which forms the inner cavity for articulation of the Articulation of the head of the humerus, and it gives also uh, attachment with the glenoid labrum to the margin. Here is attachment of glenoid labrum, which deepens this fossa. And in the supraglenoid tubercle, here there is attachment of long head of biceps. This is attachment of long head of the biceps. Clear? Yes. Now we discuss. Now, uh, after the discussion of the uh, attachment and various features of the body of the scapula, uh, I would like to discuss about the numerous process of the scapula. This is the process guy. It has three processes. One process is here. This process is spinous process. This is acromion process, and this is coracoid process. First of all, we discuss about the spinous process. This process is spinous process. ये यहाँ से यहाँ तक this process is spinous process. This process है this anterior border. This border is the anterior border. Which attach the posterior surface of the scapula. The scapula to posterior surface attach it. It has lateral border. This lateral border forms the boundary of the spinoglenoid notch. Spinoglenoid notch के बीच में ये boundary है. ये boundary बना रहा है. This is lateral border. This is anterior border and this is posterior border. तो ये ऐसे है ये है दिस इज पोस्टियर बॉर्डर ये अटैच ऑन डॉर्सल सरफेस ये इज लेक्टल बॉर्डर दिस इज लेक्टल बॉर्डर विच फॉर द बाउंड्री ऑफ स्पाइनो ग्रीन हाइट नॉच इसके बीच की नॉच की बाउंड्री बना रहा है एंड दिस इज दिस इज अटैच विथ दिस इज अटैच विथ दी body of the scapula posterior surface this form the anterior border this is posterior border this is posterior border this is anterior border this is posterior border this is lateral border so it has three borders and two surfaces one surface lying above and one surface lying below the upper ki surface hogi that surface uh, which form the floor of the uh, Yeah, if we a boundary of this uh, supraglenoid fossa, it gives attachment of the sub fibers of the supraspinous muscle. Now, as I said, you check it. We have inferior boundary, inferior surface, inferior surface gives attachment to the intraspinous muscle. Sub fibers of the intraspinous muscle attach here. Okay, and this 
posterior border posterior border this is anterior border and here is posterior border anterior border this is anterior border and you attach with the posterior surface of the this is posterior border this is short border and it form the crest the spinous crest and it has two leaves so guys ko aise dekhiye to isme s hai it has two leaves this is process and this is upper lip and this is lower lip upper lip give attachment to trapezius muscle yahan se attach hoti hai trapezius muscles and lower lip give attachment to deltoid muscle this is deltoid muscle and this is trapezius So this is trapezius muscle and this is deltoid muscle. So ये इसके दोनों लिप्स याद हैं। Now we we'll discuss about this. This is acromial process. From here to here, this is acromial process. Acromial process. This is flattened. superior inferiorly it has superior surface inferior surface this is lateral border there is lateral border here is medial border so it has superior surface inferior surface lateral border and medial border this surface this border it gives also attachment to the trapezius and here in the continuation of the spinous process it gives attachment to the deltoid here Now we we'll discuss about this process. This is coracoid process. Coracoid process has a root. This is a root. This is body, and this is tip. And the tip of the coracoid process, that is lateral most part of the coracoid process, give origin to biceps brachii. Short head of the biceps brachii. There is attachment to the short head of the biceps brachii. Short head of biceps brachii. in the tip part just medial to this there is another attachment that is coracobrachialis so these two muscles takes origin from tip of the coracoid process short head of biceps and coracobrachialis this is coracobrachialis and here in the part body there is insertion of pectoris minor here pectoris minor muscle is attached So here three muscles are attached, and here <coughs> one ligament attached from here. This is coracohumeral ligament. That is attached with the humerus, and another ligament attached with coracoacromial ligament. This is acromial process. Coracoacromial ligament. It attached with the acromial process. It forms coracoacromial arch, and and the ligament coracoclavicular ligament attached with the clavicle. Now clavicle only is here. So here is another ligament that is coracoacromial ligament. Coracoacromial ligament. So this gives this coracoid process gives attachment to three muscles and three ligaments. So three muscles come from this. Here, in the tip part, we see sort of the biceps brachii. Then coracoid brachii is then there is insertion of pectoris minor or three ligament kaun kaun se honge coraco acromial ligament acromial coraco acromial ligament coraco clavicular ligament this is coraco clavicular ligament sorry this is coraco clavicular ligament clavicular se attach hai this is clavicular coraco clavicular ligament it has two parts conoid and trapezoid part this is coraco clavicular ligament 
and coraco humeral ligament here is attached with the humerus coraco humeral ligament and this is coraco acromial ligament so t ligament ho gaye coraco humeral coraco acromial and here coraco clavicular ligament which has two parts coronal and trapezoid part so ye teen process ho gaye tino ka description hai sir now you can see this bone this is scapula of left side this is the position of the scapula so it has two surfaces it has first of all you see it has a body this is triangular body and it has three processes one is coracoid process here is spinous process this is spinous process and this is acromial process so three processes ho gaye ye body ho gayi and this body has two surfaces and this surface which is concave and here it gives attachment to sub scapularis muscle and this is the region why it is known as sub scapular fossa so isko isliye sub scapular fossa kehte hain it has three longitudinal ridges yahan dekhiye se teen longitudinal ridge hain which gives attachment to the muscle so on the medial border of this surface from here to here from inferior angle to superior angle serratus anterior medial border is serratus anterior ridge attached this is costal surface and this is dorsal surface this dorsal surface is divided into two part by spinous process this spinous process divides dorsal surface into two part dorsal surface is convex and it divide two part by this process upper ka part hoga upper part the supraspinous fossa supraspinous fossa and lower part the infraspinous fossa स्पाइन के ऊपर सुपरा स्पाइंडस पोसा इंफ्रा स्पाइंडस पोसा और स्ट्रक्चर जो अटैच होंगे सुपरा स्पाइंडस पोसा से मीडियल टू थर्ड पार्ट से सुपरा स्पाइंडस मसल यहाँ से जाएगा से एंड लोअर पार्ट पर इंफ्रा स्पाइंडस पोसा के मीडियल टू थर्ड पर इंफ्रा स्पाइंडस मसल इसके अलावा ये लीजिए नॉच इन दोनों के बीच में एक नॉच दिख रहा है दिस इज ग्लियोनाइट क्रेविटी और ये है रूट ऑफ या लैक्टल बॉर्डर ऑफ स्पाइनस प्रोसेस इन दोनों के बीच में एक नॉच दिख रहा है दिस इज स्पाइनो ग्लिनोइड नॉच स्पाइनो ग्लिनोइड नॉच के थ्रू यहां से सुपरा स्कैपुलर नर्व एंड वेसल पासिस थ्रू दिस यहां से आकर के इसमें चली आएंगे ठीक है तो ये हो गया इसका डॉसल सर्विस नाउ it has three borders three borders this is superior border this is shortest border sabse chhota border hai and the lateral part of superior border yahan par dekhiye to yahan notch hai this is supra scapular nerve and this notch is bridged by yahan par ek yahan se yahan tak ye ligament hota hai that is supra scapular ligament aur iske ligament ke upar se supra scapular artery pass hogi ligament ke niche se इसको याद करने के लिए करते हैं कि आर्टरी मीन्स एयरफोर्स और ए फॉर एयरफोर्स और नर्व का यन फॉर नेवी तो नेवी नीचे पानी में रहती है और एयरफोर्स एक ऊपर ए है तो आर्टरी के ऊपर सॉरी इस लिगामेंट के ऊपर एयर मीन्स आर्टरी इसके नीचे नर्व सुप्रेस कर दो नर्व यहां से नर्व आती है फिर यहां से इस नॉच के थ्रू ये फिर इंफ्रा स्पाइनस फोसा में आ जाएगी ठीक है तो दिस इज सुपीरियर वर्ड नाउ दिस इज मीडियर वर्ड फ्रॉम फ्रॉम सुपीरियर एंगल टू इंफीरियर एंगल ये सबसे बड़ा दिख रहा है दिस इज लार्जेस्ट वर्ड है ना और इस वर्ड में देखिए सुपीरियरली एंड डासर सच है फ्रॉम हियर टू हियर यहां अटैचमेंट किसका है लिवेटर स्कैपुलर का और यहां से यहां तक अटैचमेंट है ये भी rhomboides minor and from here to here the attachment of rhomboides major to ye medial border ho gaya aur lateral border dekhiye thickest border hai it is thickest border and upper end of lateral border expanded it form the glenoid cavity here you can see just below the glenoid cavity in the lateral border there is tubercle Known as infraglenoid tubercle, and the structure attached with infraglenoid tubercle is 
लॉन्ग डिडक्ट ट्राइसिप्स लॉन्ग डिडक्ट ट्राइसिप्स मसल यहाँ अटैच हो इसके नीचे आ जाएगी यहाँ से यहाँ तक ये यह पार्ट में हियर इन लेटर बॉर्डर टेरिस माइनर ही दिखता है टेरिस माइनर अटैच एंड इन लोअर बॉर्डर पार्ट टेरिस मेजर ही अटैच तो दिस इज लेटर बॉर्डर तो तीन बॉर्डर हो गए इट हैज थ्री एंगल्स दिस इज सुपीरियर एंगल इट लाइज एट लेवल ऑफ सेकेंड रिंग और स्पाइनस पास है जब सेकेंड थोरेसिक वर्टिकल इन्फीरियर एंगल इट लाइज एट लेवल ऑफ सेवेंथ रिंग और एट लेवल ऑफ सेवेंथ स्पाइनस पास है जब थोरेसिक वर्टिकल दिस इज लैटरल एंगल ये नहीं लैटरल एंगल ये सुपीरियर एंगल है ये लैटरल एंगल लैटरल एंगल इज ट्रांसलेटेड इट फॉर्म दिल नाट का एक्टिव लेटर एंगल ही एक्सपैंड करके बना ग्रीनाइट कैविटी तो दिस ग्रीनाइट कैविटी गिव्स अटैच टू इट्स मार्जिन दैट इज फाइब्रोकार्डियन स्ट्रक्चर ग्रीनाइट लैब्रम एंड जस्ट एब दिस देर इज ए ट्यूबरकिल थोड़ा सा ट्यूबरकिल दिख रहा है सुपरा ग्रीनाइट ट्यूबरकिल जैसे यहाँ पर इंफ्रा ग्रीनाइट ट्यूबरकिल And here is supraglenoid tubercle. The supraglenoid tubercle gives attachment to the long head of biceps brachii. This biceps brachii is mostly intracapsular, so capsule is attached to the margin of the glenoid cavity. So, this is it. So.